Well, um, I want to make a series of videos, probably make one a week or so, and I'm going to add subtitles so others can watch them in foreign languages later on, hopefully. Um, which takes quite a bit of time, it took me four hours to do one yesterday, a ten minute video. Uh, so I'm going to just briefly um, talk about my awakening um, in several videos, I don't know how many it will be. Um, first I'll just say that I was born in United Kingdom in the, on the south coast of Goodwood Estate near Chichester, West Sussex. And uh, I was born to my mother Mary and uh, this was destiny. And I was the hand of God in my life from my birth and uh, he um, then uh, also helped that was named Christopher namesake of Christ because I've been his disciple in a former life and uh, I grew up on the estate where my parents worked my father worked and I become a shepherd on that estate and that was also my destiny to become a shepherd so uh, I'll now go on to begin uh, from um, 1990 two uh, when my first spiritual experience happened now I myself was not spiritual or religious not aware of spirit in any way but uh, in 1992 uh, I split up with my wife we'd been together seven years and had three children uh, my children my youngest was still about three years old um, and we amicably split up about two months after this I was working as a shepherd on a farm and I'd been on the Goodwood estate, but then I'd moved to Oxfordshire, and then I'd moved back down to Surrey, and I was working on a farm as a shepherd of 1,300 sheep uh, in Surrey, near Guildford. Uh, and um, I had a weekend off, and uh, I used to have the odd weekend off. And I was asleep in bed, and I woke up as though something had disturbed me. And uh, <laughs> I, I look, opened my eyes, and there was somebody walking down, a lady walking down the side, the left hand side of my bed. And it was light out, I could see her. And she had oh, very, very long black hair. And it was very full and it just covered the whole of back, the back of her to the top of her, her, her legs. And it was that long. And uh, then, and I didn't know this was Father God or Clairvoyance or anything at the time. It was a vision. But I didn't know this, and uh, then my eyes were forced closed. I could not keep them open, and you don't go back to sleep when you've seen somebody you don't know in your bedroom, do you? But anyway, my eyes went, were closed, and almost like a few seconds later, I woke up again. <laughs> and she was standing, facing my way, but not uh, looking at me. She was looking down the side of the bed rather than at me. And I was just looking at her, and she was absolutely stunningly beautiful, an oriental, probably Japanese, and uh, her hair was very full and very long. <coughs> and uh, uh, I just was laying there looking at her, and out of her peripheral vision, she m noticed I was looking at her, and it was like a look of shock went across her eyes. I mean, she it was just her eyes, nothing else flinched on her, just her eyes went, well, you know, sort of, I can't do it, but uh, there was a look of shock anyway. and. Uh, then my eyes were forced closed again. Then a few seconds later, she was holding a kimono up in front of her. She was naked, uh, but she was very tactful. <laughs> uh, then a few seconds later, my eyes opened again and I looked round. She was crouched down, almost hiding at the bottom of my bed. And she was looking right into my eyes and it was like a uh, look of love. I mean, our souls met. I looked into her and I could see a loving soul that loved me so much in through her eyes. It was, you know, you can see the soul through the eyes and it was a beautiful experience. And, <laughs> you know, and uh, then again, my eyes were forced closed. And um, I then, uh, for a few seconds, went back to sleep and then woke up again. And I looked round and she'd gone and I wanted to know who she was. I wanted her to come back. I didn't know who she was. And then I wondered, how on earth did she get into my house? Because the doors are locked. Uh, but I uh, just laid there thinking about this. And then I had some clairvoyance, which I didn't know what it was. But I could uh, perceive her thought. well, not her thoughts, her imaginations into my mind. And it was though she had come every night and got into my bed. Uh, this was what she was making me aware of in clairvoyance. I didn't know it was this. Like she got into my bed every night after I'd gone to sleep and she always got up and left before I woke up. But this one time I, she disturbed me and it woke me up. 
And uh, then I had an image of her, uh, me asleep in bed at night and her up behind me, cuddling tight to me, you know, naked in bed with me and, you know, just felt all this love coming from her for me and it was amazing. Oh, it was a beautiful experience, you know, she was stunning and very beautiful and obviously a very loving person and, you know, I was aghast at this and uh, it took me, uh, you know, I was amazed by it. I didn't know what it was. I thought it was a waking dream of some sort. I didn't realise it was a vision that Father God was giving me of somebody that would later on be very important to me and somebody that was there all the time with me looking after me in spirit. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it at this for this video and I'll go on to when I started to become, have a calling to be awoken to my own spirit and I'll talk about that in the next video. So bless you, I thank you for listening, have a good day, love and light, Shep.